1974, what began as a simple split in a chimpanzee community in Tanzania's Gombe National Park would evolve into a shocking four-year conflict that forever changed our understanding of primate behavior. The Gombe Chimpanzee War, as it came to be known, saw the once unified Kasekela community divide into two factions, the larger Northern Kasekela group and the breakaway Southern Kahama group. What followed was a systematic campaign of violence as the Northern group deliberately hunted down and eliminated members of the Southern faction one by one, employing ambush tactics and brutal attacks. Jane Goodall and her research team, who had been studying these chimpanzees for years, were stunned by the calculated nature of the attacks, which included coordinated raids, severe beatings, and even cannibalism. The conflict revealed disturbing parallels to human warfare, territorial expansion, coalition building, strategic planning, and systematic elimination of rivals, suggesting these violent tendencies might have deep evolutionary roots. Neurological research has since found that both humans and chimpanzees process aggression, territorial defense, and in-group hours out-group distinctions in similar brain regions, reinforcing our biological connections. The Gombe War challenged the previously held notion that humans were the only species capable of organized warfare, suggesting instead that such behavior may date back to our last common ancestor seven million years ago. Today, the Gombe Chimpanzee War is studied across multiple disciplines, from primatology and evolutionary biology to psychology and political science, as researchers seek to understand the roots of conflict. The surviving chimpanzee community in Gombe has long since stabilized, but the shadow of this conflict continues to inform how we view both chimpanzee societies and our own human propensity for warfare. By understanding the evolutionary and social context of violence in our closest relatives, researchers hope to gain insight into how human societies might better manage conflict and foster cooperation instead of destruction.